Well, Dana, no disrespect to David there because that was a great photo, but I think <laughs> Mainers are sick of seeing clouds and want some more sunshine. I know. I keep making this joke, but we're not really going to see any sun until next year. Oh, that's, I know. that's a good one. We've got a, I know. It's a kind of a depressing joke. But really, we're kind of in this unsettled pattern. We've been dealing with fog. We've been dealing with rain. And unfortunately, we're not going to have too much change in the weather as we go over the next couple of days, besides a little bit of a transition from rain into snow. But not for all of us. I'll explain in a few minutes. But we've been having on and off showers throughout the day today. Right now, the bulk of our showers are exiting from down east Maine. But these have been relatively light in nature throughout the day. And we also haven't seen a lot of precipitation from this system because the atmosphere is a little bit more on the drier side. But you wouldn't tell by how much fog that we've had over the past couple of days, really low visibilities throughout the day today, especially along the coastline. Now, right now we've kind of had some breaks in the fog, but overall still pretty low visibility, only three quarters of a mile in Rockland and especially in New Hampshire and Western Maine. So if you're going to be doing any traveling late at night tonight or early tomorrow morning, just be, uh, just be aware of some areas of dense fog overnight tonight. Now, our low temperatures tonight for a lot of us are actually going to be above freezing, which is very unusual for this late into December, almost into January. So most of us will just see some rain showers continuing overnight tonight. However, in far eastern and northern Maine is where we could be right around freezing. So those, that, those areas might see a little bit of ice accretion possible in the early morning as, as well as some freezing rain. Now, as we go over the next couple of hours, the system is going to keep the bulk of our heaviest rain offshore. So as we get into the day Thursday, we will see some more consistent rain, but it isn't going to be super heavy throughout the entire day. So as we get to before sunrise, some of that rain will begin to move into southern York County and we will start to overspread most of the state as we go throughout the day, hitting the Augusta and Lewiston area by about 11 a.m. and then just south of Bangor by the time we get into the late afternoon. Now, I think northern Maine is going to be able to stay the driest. However, they're not going to see much sunshine because we're going to be overcast throughout the day. Now, once we get into Thursday night, that's where we have some cold air begin to building in. So that's where I think north of the Bangor area, we'll start to see some mixed precipitation and some freezing rain. So we're looking at the possibility of some ice in there. And then as we get into the day on Friday and Saturday especially, that's when for most of us, with the exception of the immediate coastline, will be cold enough for these rain showers to transition into snow showers throughout the day Saturday and on Friday as well. So we're looking for a couple of inches of accumulation really north of the Bangor area. I think coatings south of Augusta, one to three inches possible north of Bangor, and about three to five inches in far northern Aristic County. We do have some gusty winds, so small craft advisories in effect until Friday at seven. So we don't have much sunshine in the forecast really for any of us until we get into Sunday rain and snow showers over the next couple of days. But Sam, once we get into the new year, things will start to clear up and we'll be a little bit on the cooler side, but on the sunnier side. So it'll start to feel more like winter. All right. Well, we'll take that, I guess, as we get really close to 2024. I know it's creeping up on us. All right, Dana. Thank you.